welcome everybody welcome to the presentation so we are studying the influence line diagrams for simply supported beam so in the first part that is the first part uh, in the first video we saw the basics of influence line diagram and the derivation when a unit load is moving from left to right for a simply supported beam how to draw the influence line diagram for the reactions shear force and bending moment in our second video we saw a simple example of a simply supported beam when a unit load is moving from a to b the simply supported beam was 5 meter span length and we saw how to find the shear force and bending moment at the section 2 meter from a so here we will go for the next step that is we are going to find the influence line diagram for simply supported beam with more than one concentrated load so this problem we have three concentrated loads and one uniformly distributed load shorter than the span so this is our given problem using influence line diagram determine the shear force and bending moment at a section c in the simply supported beam so the given beam is simply supported beam so the total span length is 14 meter a 40 kilo newton load is acting at a distance of 2 meter from a a uniformly distributed load of 10 kilo newton per meter is acting at a distance of 4 meter that is it acts at a distance of 2 meter from a for a distance of 4 meter and the third load is a concentrated load of 60 kilo newton acting at a distance of 8 meter from a the fourth load is an 80 kilo newton concentrated load acting at a distance of 10 meter from a so this is our given problem see when we look into our syllabus we have two types of support conditions a simply supported beam and overhang beams so now we are studying about simply supported beams and in simply supported beams we have three loading conditions concentrated loads with a unit con one single concentrated load with more than one concentrated loads and uniformly distributed loads shorter than the span and larger than the span so this problem consists of more number of concentrated loads and an uniformly distributed load that is shorter than the span and before going to the problem we know how to draw the influence line diagrams for the shear forces bending moment and the support reactions when a load when a unit load is moving from left to right so the same influence line diagrams so the same concept we are going to apply for this problem also because this is a simply supported beam so same way we will be finding the ordinates then for finding the shear force at the section c we will multiply the ordinates with the magnitude of the load when it is a concentrated load we will multiply the ordinate by the magnitude of the concentrated load when it is a uniformly distributed load we will multiply the area in the influence line diagrams that is area under the load in the influence line diagram multiplied by the magnitude of the uniformly distributed load this is what is needed so this is our given problem we know the influence line diagram for the shear force at a section the ordinates are minus x by l and l minus x by l so our aim is to find what is x by l and l minus x by l 
we are asked to find the section at C. So, C is equal to 4 meter. So, X is equal to 4 meter from it. So, this is the influence line diagram for the shear force at section. So, here our section is C. So, the ordinates are L minus X by L. Positive ordinate is L minus X by L and the negative ordinate is X by L. So, we know for the span AC, the ordinates are X by L. So, AC the distance is 0 to 4 meter. So, we will find the ordinates for every 2 meters. So, for the span AC at a 2 meter distance, when x is equal to 2 meter, our shear force is 1 by 7. That is the ordinate at a 2 meter is 1 by 7. And for 4 meter, the ordinate at a C is 2 by 7. Now, for the portion CB, the sloping line, we have a sloping line and the ordinates of these sloping line varies from L minus X by L. Now, we can easily find these shear forces without applying the formula that is by using the similar triangle principles. For that what is needed is we should know what are the ordinates. So, same thing we know the ordinates are L minus X by L and X by L. So, the ordinate that is at 4 meter we have two ordinates. We have a negative ordinate of 2 by 7 and a positive ordinate of 5 by 7. That is negative ordinate x by L is 2 by 7 and the positive ordinate is L minus x by L that is 5 by 7. So, once these ordinates are known, we can apply the similar triangle principles. So, by applying similar triangle principles, we have found the other ordinates. So, the ordinates, we have noted the ordinates. And this is the influence line diagram for the shear force at C. Now, we have drawn the influence line diagram. We have to find what is the value of shear force for this loading condition at the section C. For this loading condition, that is we have to multiply the ordinate with the magnitude of the load for concentrated loads. And we have to multiply the area under the area in the influence line diagram under the loads for a univer, uniformly distributed load. So, for the shear force at C, first load is 40 kilo Newton and the ordinate is minus 1 by 7. So, we have multiplied this 40 kilo Newton into minus 1 by 7 plus 10 into that is the magnitude of the load is 10 kilo Newton multiplied by the area under the load in the influence line diagram. So, the first area is minus negative area in the portion C D E F and the second is the positive area G H C I. So, this 10 kilo Newton uniformly distributed load is multiplied by the area, negative area and positive area. 60 kilo Newton load multiplied by the ordinate, positive ordinate 3 by 7 plus 80 kilo Newton magnitude multiplied by the ordinate 2 by 7. So, we get the value is 360 by 7. So, this is our 360 by 7 kilo Newton is the shear force at C for the given position of loads. So, now we will see how to draw the bending moment diagrams. So, we know the ordinate of the bending moment diagram is x by L into L minus x. 
So our x is 4 meter. So by applying x is equal to 4 meter, we got the maximum ordinate, positive ordinate that is 20 by 7. Now we will apply the similar triangle principles to find the other ordinate. So the other ordinates are found by using similar triangle principles. Now the bending moment that is the value of bending moment at C like in shear force we will multiply the magnitude by the ordinates and for uniformly distributed load we will multiply the magnitude by the area under the influence line diagrams. So we have multi so all are positive all ordinates are positive ordinates here first load is 40 kilo newton so 40 into 10 by 7 is the ordinate plus 10 into area under the load in the influence line diagram plus 60 into 12 by 7 plus 80 into 8 by 7 we get 2420 by 7 kilo meter. Thank you. See if you have any doubts you can comment on this section. You can also log in to our Google classroom and you can post your doubts or comments. Thank you. In the next slide, we will see how to find the maximum possible shear force and maximum possible or absolute bending moment for a simply supported beam. And after that, we will go on for overhang beams. Thank you.